Hi, I'm Rebecca from Berry Brothers and Rudd, and we're going to explore wine together. We're going to have so much fun. We've got such fantastic wines here at Berry Brothers and Rudd, and it's a great way to explore your own sense of taste and also to find out the types of wines you love and the types of wines you're not so keen on. It's the golden age of wine. There's many styles out there. Now, when you love a wine, you love the balance. And when you're not so keen on the wine, it's the balance you're not keen on. So what makes up the balance? I've chosen four wines here to illustrate different components in wine. We're going to start with the Chablis. I've chosen this to illustrate acidity. Acidity is essential in wine. It aids digestion. It refreshes the palate. And all wines have acidity. The cooler the climate, the more zingy, the higher acidity it has. Now let's just demonstrate that. Here is the Chablis. I'm going to swirl it around my palate for three seconds to really get to know the wine. And let's see what the reaction is. I took in air there to really release the flavor. And guess what's happening now? I've got all this tingling at the side of the tongue. I've got all this mouth watering. That is me responding to the high acidity in this wine. It's really refreshing. I love Chablis because it's got really fantastic acidity. Now, let's talk about ripeness. It's really important in your glass of wine. Some grapes really ripen a lot. Some grapes hardly ripen. This is all to do with the climate, a hot climate, a cool climate. I've chosen for you here a Chilean Chardonnay, which has a hot climate. So when I smell this wine, I'm expecting to smell summer. I'm expecting to smell heat. You get a lot from your intuition um, when you put your nose in the glass. Yes, I'm smelling really rich tropical fruit flavors those tropical fruit flavors are coming because the grapes have been in lots of sunshine. Let's see what happens on the palate. Again, I'm taking in the air to really release the flavor. Try it at home. You feel a bit self-conscious at first, but you'll get used to it. It's something you do to get to know the wine, not when you're at the restaurant with your friends but I've got this big, rich flavor, much richer than this uh, Chablis here, which was a cooler climate. So there's a riper grape in this wine than there is in this wine. They're two different styles. Now, what I'd like to talk about is alcohol in wine. And I've chosen to illustrate this an Amarone from Italy. Amarones are renowned for being quite high in alcohol. Did you know the alcohol in a wine must be between 8 and 15%? So 15% is high alcohol, 8% is low alcohol. Sometimes you can see the little glycerols creeping down the glass, which indicate the alcohol. By the way, responsible drinking, make sure you know your units. Did you know 9% of wine, just taking 125 mils is one unit. And we recommend that you should, as ladies, drink 14 units a week, moderately throughout the week. And gents, you can go up to 21 units. Now, the other element in wine to talk about is tannin. It's a substance you find in red grapes, and it gives muscle to the wine. It actually gives fuller body, and it also helps the wine to age. Now, I'm choosing this Amarone again, and I'd like you to try at home chewing a red wine for three seconds. And at the end, do you notice a sort of furry astringency just on the inside of the cheeks, straight across the tongue? Let's see if it works. Mm. Amazing, all this drying sensation. It's like when you've had a really stewed cup of tea, there's tannin in tea. And stewing the tea really brings out the tannin and you get all that astringency there. Well, in wine there's tannin as well, but it's good and over time it softens. Now, another interesting aspect of wine is what kind of vessel do you use? Do you put your wine in stainless steel in the winery or do you use an oak barrel? They all have their uses. Stainless steel really retains vibrant fruit. 
So our Chablis here was made in stainless steel. It really preserves the vibrancy of the wine. Whereas our next wine, which is one I've chosen for you, a Rioja Grand Reserva, was put in an oak barrel. And this wine is also from 1995, so it's considerably older than the others. And I don't know whether you can see, but look at the color of this red wine. It's not as deep as the one before it. And this is because the air got at it. And how did the air get, get at it? It went through the tiny little seams of the oak barrels. And this really softens the tannin over time. And it gives a more interesting flavor uh, to some wines. When a barrel is new, it's usually made from oak. And in oak, you've got little vanilla compounds. And those also peep through into the wine. So in this wine, I can actually smell butter and vanilla, and it's a sign that it's been in new oak. Mm. Wow, I just love that wine. It's so harmonious. Over time, that acidity that we've talked about has integrated with the ripeness, which has integrated with the alcohol that we've talked about which is integrated with the tannin and integrated with, in this case, the oak barrel. Really, for my mind, creating a fantastic balance. And that's what I'm looking for when I'm enjoying my wine. So enjoy, go and explore lots of different grape varieties. Look out for these different components. And join me next time. We're going to look at Chardonnay and Sauvignon Blanc. Enjoy. <laughs>